We're on the air. This is Radio Entrepreneurs. Our next guest is Jim yes. Mangiardo of Homewood Capital Group. Thank you for being on the show. Uh, tell us about Homewood Capital. Well, uh, Homewood Capital was created by me to continue a career path that I uh, wanted to really focus on. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've done uh, eight startups, uh, and my journey started out uh, very differently than I had ever expected. This was the last thing I'd ever thought, me becoming an entrepreneur. A uh, long time ago, uh, I did my undergraduate work at Johns Hopkins and then came here to Harvard Law School. Uh, and after graduating, moved back to New Jersey uh, where I practiced law for a couple of years. But I had this interest in business and thought that I uh, didn't know how quite to get involved in business so I decided uh, to go work in a corporate law department. And I went to work uh, at Shearing Plow Corporation, uh, at that time a major international pharmaceutical company, uh, as the Food and Drug Administration Regulatory Council. Wow. And after a couple of years, the opportunity presented itself for me to transition into business. What happened was uh, the head of what was then called personnel, now human resources, uh, came to me and said, hey, Jim, we're short of top management talent uh, in this company. We want to take people from specialized areas, give them broader training so they can become our future general managers. So we've looked at all 20,000 employees of Shearing Plow worldwide and selected you as the first person to be in this new program. Oh, you were the, you were the test, uh, the, the, the guinea pig test. Absolutely correct. Yes, I was the <laughs> guinea pig test. Uh, and, and the truth is, uh, until I actually got involved in it, I didn't know whether that was the right choice for me. Years later, I could look back, and uh, what I found uh, was this, that when I was a liberal arts undergraduate at Johns Hopkins, I had to think uh, very creatively. So uh, the thought patterns would be very expansive. I, I can show it with my hands, but obviously you can't see that. But way out uh, uh, into... Uh, broader, broader than broader, your shoulders. Broader than my shoulders. But when I got to Harvard Law School, the rules say you don't play in that game. So you came closer. Uh, right. uh, and what I found was I was much more comfortable in the broader realm in business than I was uh, within uh, the confines that the legal system puts upon legal thinking. After a while, I decided it just would be more fun running my own business than staying within the confines of a major pharma company, so I decided to leave. Uh, and that's when I approached the vice chairman of the company to introduce me to the venture capital world because that was his responsibility. And through his introductions, uh, I met uh, Walter Channing, who was the C and CW Ventures, and became head of one of their portfolio companies. Uh, Quite a background. Well... Uh, you come. You have all kinds of surprises. Legal, licensing, drug development, uh, marketing, strategy, funding. Correct. Well, the, the funding part uh, was my first object lesson when I got m to my first company. Uh, I, 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 I knew I was going there to build a business, uh, and I knew I would have to uh, somehow get involved in funding, uh, but I didn't quite understand the depths of what I was getting myself involved in. Within a couple of days of me being in, in, uh, at uh, uh, my first uh, startup company, somebody wanders into my office and says, hey, Jim, we don't have any money for payroll at the end of the month. And that was my responsibility. That to experience <laughs> I've had. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was my responsibility. Too often. <laughs> right. It was my responsibility from then on. Help to me grow the business, but we have no money. Correct. I've been That's there many times. Absolutely right. Yes, yes. <laughs> So I, I wound up really getting myself uh, involved with, with two full-time jobs. One was to build a business. The other one was to raise money. Jim, if somebody wants to uh, talk with you, learn more about what you're doing and how you could help people, how would they find you at Homewood Capital Group? They could send me an email. Uh, letters J-M-A-T-L-B-C at earthlink.net.